Team Blake loses a country singer during Tuesday night's top six elimination. Hi there, I'm Elena Scantlin for ENTV on YouTube, and TVLine.com has your voice recap. It was another stressful elimination night for the judges last night, especially for Adam, Usher, and Shakira, who each only have one contestant left in the competition. Luckily for Usher, the voice host Carson Daly spared him any further anxiety by announcing that his contestant, Michelle Shamuel, was safe from elimination first. Second contestant to move into the semifinals was Team Shakira's Sasha Allen, whose amazing performances Monday night earned her a comparison to Beyonce. I guess there's more than one Sasha Fierce. <laughs> but no judge seemed more relieved than Adam, who looked like he was about to pass out before his final contestant, Amber, was finally announced as safe. I love you. I love you. I love you. In the final moments of the episode, it was down to Blake's country singers Holly Tucker and the Swan Brothers. The Swan Brothers move on! America's final save! Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Holly Tucker from Team Blake, who departs tonight on The Voice. So did her coach have any final words of wisdom for her as she left the competition? Holly revealed to E! News he didn't really say much, he just hugged me and I just kind of felt it. I knew that everything was going to be okay. On a positive note for Blake, Tuesday night marked the return of his winning contestant from last season, Cassidy Pope. She debuted her new single, Wasting All These Tears, which went to number one on iTunes even before the performance was over. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe below to get our weekly video recaps of The Voice Season 4. Click here for the best of Monday night's performances featuring Taylor Swift's surprise appearance and to relive Cassidy Pope's winning performance in the Season 3 finale. Just click right here. I'm Elena Scantlin. For more TV news, log on to TVLine.com and stay tuned to ENTV for all your entertainment news first.